The monobike is a specialty prop. That's fantastic. They're great toys. They go fast, they handle really well, and it's, it's like being a kid again on that stuff. MIP! MIP! Yeah! I treat these kinds of vehicles like characters, especially in a movie like this. It's a roller coaster we're making, and you gotta break rules constantly to make it work. We gotta stop this guy! I've been trying! You haven't been trying? Oh dear, I forgot to see this one coming. There's a moment where Boris jumps with his alien motorcycle out of Shea Stadium, lands on their car, their car uh, gets damaged, bursts into flames. So this is when they dispense the monobikes. You have these in the future? No. Get on. The car was actually a practical thing that lifted it up, but we really had to tweak it a lot. We had to paint out a lot of cables, as usual. And then the device that lowers the bikes out was all CG and digital that we put in. They get on these things, and then we're off on this motorcycle chase. Keep driver settings to zero gain. Balance pitch and y'all with short bursts on the center stalk between 80 and 100 PSI. Yeah, I didn't understand any of that. The idea behind the monocycle chase was to not just give us a cool, you know, kind of men in black take on a car chase, but also to give it that men in black spin, which was some different technology. They've got these really fancy, somehow super high tech monocycle vehicles back in 1969. These are all, you know, super high chrome and look very high tech, you know, sort of like your typical men in black type of equipment that you might get. And of course, there is no such thing as a monocycle. It just isn't really a, a drivable piece of equipment. So here we have these, you know, things that don't even exist and aren't drivable and have to do a chase sequence in 1969 through the streets of New York at night. How do you do that? Right there, Chief. Hell yeah. Be better with four wheels. Two is like my minimum. What we did is we set out to make the, the real thing. We made a real tire, real looking engine, seats. Actors can mount it. We can put it on a track and run it in and out of frame as though it's taking off. Uh, try to pull them out a little faster, guys. And then they also built a version. It was on like a go-kart, because obviously you can't really ride a monocycle that effectively. The go-karts with Porsche engines, so they'll actually go very, very fast. There will always be a CG element to it in that making the wheel move and uh, when it has to careen down the street. But ultimately, the visual effects department will lay in the tire and erase the go-kart. There was a huge amount of blue and green screen work with the actors just sitting on the stage on a thing that would move and they were pretending to ride. <laughs> That's cut. The fun thing about that was that Agent J and Agent K uh, both have a different amount of experience on the monocycles. You know, this is in 1969. This is, you know, Agent K's world. So he knows how to ride these things. Agent J has never seen these before. So we took that into account in the animation, and a huge portion of that sequence is animated. A lot of that is all CG, even the stunts and the actors are all CG, racing around each other, and we're going down a CG street with CG cars and CG guys spinning around. It's just a constant mix of uh, types of techniques to make the whole scene work. You gotta remember, this, uh, this is new to me. Uh, you know that's just a blue screen, right? Yeah. <laughs> One of the great joys in the life of a writer is to see what you've written actually come to life and, and get made. And the monocycles was no exception. Everybody's gonna want monocycles after this chase.